And now, the page from our Sunday morning almanac. January 24th, 1984, 32 years ago today. The day Apple delivered on a promise it made in a Super Bowl commercial just two days earlier. On January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. Steve Jobs himself presented the first Macintosh to the world that day. The very first computer offering user-friendly icons along with a mouse. Many of us have been working on Macintosh for over two years now. And it has turned out insanely great. Not entirely. At $2,500, consumers found that original Macintosh too expensive for what it could actually do. Sales fell short of expectations. And in a little more than a year, Steve Jobs was effectively forced to leave the company. Of course, what happened next is now the stuff of high-tech legend, not to mention the recent film, Steve Jobs, for which Michael Fassbender has been nominated for an Oscar. What do you do? I play the orchestra. And you're a good musician. You sit right there. You're the best in your role. On the verge of bankruptcy in 1997, Apple brought Steve Jobs back. And what followed was a seemingly endless succession of successful Apple products, continuing up to Steve Jobs' death in 2011 and beyond. By the way, the early 1984 Macintosh computer had 0.13 megabytes of memory. The iPhone 6S, introduced last year, has 16 gigabytes. That's 123,000 times more memory. This portion of Sunday Morning is sponsored by Pacific Life. For life insurance, annuities, and investments, choose Pacific Life, the power to help you succeed.